there will soon be a new vaccine for the coronavirus pandemic. The question is, are these vaccines safe and can the government force you to take them? Yes, we have to talk about this. African Americans and this vaccine. There are some interesting reports coming out about people's right to refuse to take it. Are we at the point of saying no vaccine, no work? Let's talk about it on today's session. So this is something you need to know. What are your rights? Will you be able to say no to being vaccinated? Or can you be forced? Let's watch this next video. Let me put it very clearly. You have no constitutional right to endanger the public and spread a disease. Even if you disagree, you have no right not to be vaccinated. You have no right not to wear a mask. You have no right to open up your business. Wait, can I stop you? Did, yeah. No if right state, not to be vaccinated, meaning if they decide you have to be vaccinated, we have to be vaccinated? Absolutely. And if you refuse to be vaccinated, the state has the power to literally take you to a doctor's office and plunge a needle into your arm. If the vaccination Where is that in the Constitution? To prevent if the vaccination is designed to prevent the spreading disease. If the vaccination is only to prevent a disease that you will get, for example, if there's a disease that will kill you, you have the right to refuse that, but you have no right to refuse to be vaccinated against a uh, contagious disease. Public health, the police power of the Constitution gives the state the power to compel that, and there are cases in the United States Supreme Court. Did you just hear that your right to choose or your right to say no may be a thing of the past. My question is this, if someone gets the shot, why would they be concerned with those who opt out? Once they have the serum in their bodies, aren't they protected from catching it? So why force others to take it? Let's watch this. We live in such a divided time that everything has become politicized. On July 4th, uh, the Reverend uh, Farrakhan made a speech to almost a million people in which he urged uh, black people not to take the vaccine uh, because we know the history of how black people were experimented on during the terrible Tuskegee time. And yet black people and Latino people and people of color are the most vulnerable to the uh, illness. Uh, is that a smart thing for Farrakhan to have urged his community? Um, the, the number of, of people of color who have refused, who are indicated a refusal to take the vaccine is, I think, slightly higher, according to the report, than the number of people not of color who are refusing to take the vaccine. I understand that. So as you just heard, yes, they are paying attention to what our people are saying about this and what we're doing and how we're going to respond. So you need to be ready because of course they're going to start marching out all the stars and athletes and prominent people of color to start promoting this thing to no end. Yes they are definitely going to be saying, you know, well, you all have to take it. You're at a high risk, so you have to take it. <laughs> Let's read this article. This is from CNBC. It says, would you be willing to get a COVID vaccine in exchange for a $1,500 stimulus check? This is what is being proposed Do you see what's going on? How many people are going to be desperate enough to take the money? It says Americans are eager for one for more one-time stimulus checks while the US government is working to get COVID-19 vaccinations to the American public. 
Now, one proposal from former Congressman John Delaney aims to help both sides by providing stimulus checks in exchange for getting vaccinated. The goal is to reach a 75% vaccination rate faster, which could save both lives and the United States economy. So you know that our numbers are included. They need a high percentage of people of color to get this vaccination. Let's keep going. It goes on to say that public polling has found that whether or not to take the vaccine has become a political issue, which is discouraging, Delaney said. We have to create, in my judgment, an incentive for people to really accelerate their thinking about taking the vaccine, Delaney said. To be sure, those who are not comfortable receiving the vaccine would not be forced to do so. That's not what Dershowitz just said. He says, if you're still afraid of the vaccine and don't want to take it, that's your right. You won't participate in this program. But guess what? He added, you're going to benefit anyhow because we'll get the country to herd immunity faster, which benefits you. So I think everyone wins. Hmm. We have to talk about this issue, African Americans and vaccine. This came out, CNBC, saying, yes, your boss can fire you if you refuse to get a COVID vaccine. In other words, no vaccine, no work. Let's keep going. Again, you see where this is going. We'll read the rest of this. And by the way, <laughs> You may want to share this quickly. I'm not sure how long this one will be up. It says, companies are considering compulsory COVID vaccination requirements as a condition of employment. Under the law, an employer can force an employee to get vaccinated. And if they don't, fire them, says Rogi Dunn, a Dallas labor and employment attorney. Anti-discrimination laws would enable eligible employees to request an exemption from a company-wide coronavirus vaccine mandate. <laughs> Let's keep going. The rest of it says the country's first COVID vaccine could be authorized for emergency use as soon as Thursday. If Pfizer and BioNTech get the green light, distribution is set to begin within days. But as difficult as the research, development, and distribution stages have been, some experts argue the hardest part of the fighting the virus is actually what comes next, convincing the U.S. population to take the vaccine. Roughly 4 in 10 Americans say they would definitely or probably not get a vaccine, according to a recent survey by the Pew Research Center. While this is higher than it was two months ago, to achieve herd immunity, experts say that about 70% of the population needs to be vaccinated or have natural antibodies. Employers, however, may not be taking no for an answer. So even if the federal government won't force you to take the serum, serum your employer can. In other words, no vaccine, no work. <laughs> so for those who know the word, you can clearly see how this is fulfilling the book of Revelation. You all, you have to begin to prepare yourself for what is coming. The handwriting is on the wall. You heard the lawyer say at the beginning that the Constitution does not guarantee you the right to say, no, you can't be forced to take it. And then now they're trying to connect this to your employment where 
employers can determine whether or not you will be forced to take it. If you don't, then you lose your job. This is clearly lining up with these last day prophecies. Let's read the scripture from Revelation 17, 16 through 17. He causes all, talking about the beast, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, many are interpreting this to say, is not just a mark that is on you, but something that could possibly change you, the essence of who you are once this is inside of you. And I'm not here to make the decision for you, just to share this information with you so that you can see, you can see what the powers that be are trying to do with this and the direction that this is going. So if you decide not to and your employer says, well, you can't work here anymore, do you have plans in place? Do you know what happens with your family after that? And I'm not trying to uh, stoke fears or anything else um, like that, just to get you to think and to consider this because it may be time to have a conversation with your family. You need to know what your plan and strategy will be beforehand. So the other thing that you need to consider would be those friends and family members who know nothing about these last day prophecies or these scriptures or the mark. So how many of them will be willing to take that $1,500? You see what I'm saying? So we certainly want people to be aware of what is coming You need to talk to people you know. Your words may be exactly what they need to hear to show them how these things are fulfilling scriptures. You may, you know, say something that would help them to receive salvation and save their souls. It's a great time to be a witness because clearly, as I said, The handwriting is on the wall and we can see the direction that this is going in. And we want to watch as well as pray. And we also want to be aware. Shalom, everyone.